Hey guys, it's Melanie. Welcome to my channel. It's time for another round of a Wheel of TBR, so stay tuned. So my Wheel of TBR is one of my mini TBR games that I play in order to pick the books that I read for the month. And if you want to go back and check out my other games, I have a Have I Read It? It's not really a game, but I go back and look at previous hauls and see what I've read, what I haven't read, and what I've unhauled, and have to pick books to read from that. And I also do a Cards Against My TBR. I will actually link my playlist for that up here as well. But my Wheel of TBR works like this. I spend six times, unless of course I have to do a bonus. If I have, well, in order to get the bonuses, each time I spin, I mark my wheel. When my wheel gets, uh, when I get five marks on one slice, then I have to do a bonus spin. I don't mark on those bonus spins when I'm doing it, but I can accumulate many bonus spins before that. But anything after my original six, I, I stop marking, but I do change out the prompts. Okay, so before I get into this month's spins, let's go over how I did last month. So to start off, these two here were ones that got carried over from February into March, and I didn't end up reading these in March either. And I want to say this before I continue on. March was a crazy month for me. We had to pretty much pack up our entire house. We got our floors redone and then had to unpack our house, which is still not done yet. Sorry if you hear any kind of background noise. Marty is in the kitchen chopping vegetables and stuff to cook for dinner tonight. Uh, but I decided because of the craziness that was this month, and I still managed to read quite a bit, I'm not going to give myself any punishments this month just because it wasn't for not trying. It was just things were, it was just not possible to read some of these books because of everything that was going on. So, as I said, I did not get these two that were uh, from the month before. Okay, so for March's spins, the first spin I had was Alternate World, and for that I chose The Kingdom of Back by Marie Lu, and I did read this. For spin number two, I had Once Upon a Book Club box, and for that I selected Ray Bear, and I did read this, and I vlogged me opening everything. For spin number three, classic, I selected Peter Pan, and I did read this. I actually read this as part of the Spring Into Reading-a-thon vlog, or for the challenges. For fantasy, I selected House of Earth and Blood, the first book in the Crescent City series by Sarah J. Moss, and I did complete this. For the spin most recent, I selected The Cousins by Karen McManus, and I did not read this. For the prompt bookish book, I selected The Bromance Book Club, and I did read this. So that would have been my six, except I ended up with two bonus spins. So the first bonus spin I had was Contemporary, and for that I selected Love and Gelato by Jenna Evans Welch, Welch and I did read this. That was also part of the Spring Into Reading-a-thon vlog. And then for the last prompt, number in the title, uh, I was kind of lenient with myself when selecting this one, but I picked Love Sugar Magic, A Sprinkle of Spirits, and it's got two on the spine because it's book two in the series. And I asked everybody what they thought, if they thought that should be counted as a number in the title or not. And I think more people than not said, yes, it counts. But there were quite a few that said no. And I'm kind of like, mm, yeah. I did read this, uh, by the way. But um, I don't know if I would count that in the future for something. However, to kind of make up for that, in addition to reading this, I did start a different book that has a number in the title. I started Six of Crows by Lee Bardugo. I'm not going to say that I will be finishing this in March or even April for that matter because I'm reading it with Marty and his work schedule is about to get real crazy. So I, I'm not going to say it'll get done by the end of this month. 
but out of all of these I read all but three of them so I don't think I did that bad and I'm not going to make these carry over into April I'm going to kind of give myself a fresh start so I have a few different books that I'd like to try to fit into my prompts on the wheel if at all possible so I have my have I read it I have my cards against my TBR books and then I have another stack of books that I want to read this month as well so we have our chemical hearts by crystal Sutherland I really want to read this and watch the Amazon movie moxie by Jennifer Matthew I want to read this and watch the I think Netflix movie or maybe it's Hulu. I don't know the streaming movie that there is and then these four books we have the serpent shadow by Rick Riordan this is the third book in the Kane Chronicles we have a court of thorns and roses by Sarah J Moss this is the first book in that series we have the obsidian tower by Melissa Caruso and Illuminae by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff these are all books that I am doing with my buddy read group on Twitter and so I need to get these done throughout the month so it'd be nice if I could get things to fit into my wheel now last time I started the wheel off with a let me move you a little closer actually hold on There, that's better I don't feel like I'm screaming across the room okay so last time I started the wheel off with a three that already had four marks on it and my first two spins ended up getting me bonus spins that's why I ended up with those extras and it looks like we're starting out this time with three that have four marks on them already <laughs> so let's hope that it doesn't repeat itself okay I think we've gotten through all of the stuff so let's get into the spins because that's what we're all here for all right spin number one book with a monster oh there's definitely some in here okay so for this one I'm going to read Stalking Jack the Ripper by Can Carrie Maniscalco this follows uh, an investigation searching for Jack the Ripper and well he was obviously a monster he was a serial killer so this is perfect for that challenge I'm gonna set that up here I really need to change this date because it's currently March 30th as I'm filming this okay so we're going to find my dry erase marker crap what did i do with it okay i don't know where my regular dry erase marker is that i literally just had a few minutes ago but i have a different one so i will mark this which gives it its first mark on the board and we will replace book with a monster with coons and this is just to read a book by Dean Koontz. I have a ton of them. Okay, spin number two. Nonfiction. I don't know that I have any nonfiction here. That. Hmm, let me see. Okay, give me just a minute to see what I can find. Okay, so the first one that I saw on my shelf is no one is too small to make a difference by Greta Thunberg. This was one that got sent in my I think it was one of my Brave Girls book club or my Books That Matter book club. But this is a collection of her, of Greta Thunberg's speeches from climate rallies across Europe, the UN, uh, the World Economic Forum, the United States Congress, and British Parliament. So 
I think this will be an interesting read and it's also pretty short. It's only like 106 pages, so this will be perfect. Okay, so that was spin number two. We'll mark that. Ooh, that gives us four on this one as well. And we will replace nonfiction with big book. <laughs> I'm glad I picked a little one. I'm going to say for big book, it's anything over 400 pages. Okay, spin number three. New release. So in the past I've said new release was anything that was released within maybe like the last six months. So I just looked at what I had that I was already planning on reading and we have Cinderella is Dead and The Obsidian Tower. This came out in June, this came out in July. So they don't quite fit. So let me look and see what else I've got. Okay. So, The Cousins, I had to look it up on Goodreads, it came out on December 1st of 2020. So, this one will work because it's only been out a couple of months. So, even though I said I wasn't going to necessarily carry it over into uh, April, it looks like it's going anyway. <laughs> okay, so let's mark that, which gives us two on this one. And we will replace new release with standalone. Alright, spin number four. Different country. Okay, uh... Oh, need something. One eternity later. Okay, that took a while, but I ended up picking something off of my extra stack, and I chose The Raven by Sylvia, Sylvian Reynard, I believe is how it's pronounced, and this is set in Florence, Italy. So that is what I will read for that one, and let's mark that. It gives us just one on this, and we will replace different country with... Graveyard. Okay, so Graveyard is like the books that I was planning on unhauling. Um, that like I maybe ones that I decided I wasn't that interested in and decided I would get rid of. Perhaps one that I haven't read that I just lost interest in. I may still have some of those. If we if this comes up, we'll see. If not, I don't know what I'll do. <laughs> okay, let's do spin number five. Big book. Oh, and that's one that's going to give me a bonus spin. I was just thinking, I jinxed myself. I was just thinking, I can't believe I've gotten this far and didn't end up with a bonus spin. Now I have a big book. And a bonus spin. <laughs> Hold on. So actually all of my buddy read books are all over 400 pages. So I'm just going to go with uh, Court of Thorns and Roses. My pretty edition here. Okay, so that's going to go in there. And I will erase this because that's now got five on it. And we'll do seven spins instead of six. And let's replace Big Book with Audiobook. That works out well. All right, so spin number six. Friends pick. Okay. Hmm. I need to get it together a stack of books. Actually, I'm going to take a picture of all of the books that um, I'm actually getting ready to film a haul of and let somebody, maybe, I don't know who, 
but I'm gonna let somebody pick which one of the, these new books that I've gotten as uh, what to do for friend pick. So, BRB. Okay, so I took a picture. Well, first I took out all of the books that I just that I'm about to haul that were books that I'd already read or um, books that I can't read yet because I have to read something else first or books that are for like planned buddy reads. So I took out all of those and then I sent a picture to uh, my little group chat with Clint and Kehlani and I said, I need one of you to pick one of these books. And Clint said, Heartstopper Volume 1 by Alice Oseman. Clint so generously sent this to me recently and I am super excited to read this. I know this thing had him bawling. I know everybody loves this series and I've been wanting to read this for a really long time. So yay! Okay, so that was spin number six. Uh, this is the last one that I will be marking. So the next one, my bonus spin, I will not mark it, but I will change out the prompt. So we're going to replace friend pick with, come back over here, ugly cover. All right, this is the final spin because it can't get any more bonus spins. And let's see what we get. Al Craig Jr. Okay. None of these are Al Craig Jr. None of those are Al Craig Jr. Give me just a minute. Two thousand years later. Okay, that took forever, uh, but I wanted to try to find something that would also work with the buzzword readathon, and for that I ended up choosing Sky Song by Abby Elphinstone, and I don't really remember what this is about. The snowy kingdom of an Erkenwald was once a magical place until an evil ice witch cursed the land and began stealing the voices of the kingdom's people to increase their powers. Uh, but yeah, the buzzword is like space, so I think sky kind of works, and there's like constellations and stuff on here, so that is what I'm going to do for that, and we will replace Owl Crate Jr., I won't be marking it, but we will replace it with Buddy Reed, that would have come in handy. <laughs> okay, so let me hold up all the books that I need to read. So, here's a stack of books I need to read this month. <laughs> I can barely even hold them. There, and plus the two others that I want to read just because I want to watch the movie. I don't even know how many this is. Let me set them down and I'll count them. <laughs> okay. So, 20 not including the two that I want to read for the movies. <laughs> so 22. Uh, two of these can work for my buzzword readathon or buzzwordathon. We have Sky Song and Rain the Earth. So the two challenges for April for the TBR knockout was uh, the first one I think is to is April showers read a book with water on the cover or maybe in the title can't remember but ginger queer uh, it has water on the cover and then the other prompt was to read a book by a debut author or read an author's debut book so for that I've decided to go with Tithe by Holly Black because this was her first book though I have I think a few others in this stack that are also debut novels so I just grabbed the first one and that's everything I would like to try to read this month Luckily, there's a couple of graphic novels in here, a couple of short books, a lot of long books. Have you guys read any of these? Did you like them? Did you not? Comment down below and let me know. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give me a big thumbs up. If you'd like to see more videos like this, click that subscribe button down below. And until next time, remember to always be completely you. Bye!